Somebody's running to us. Either he wants to see what we're doing and we're Gus Peas, or he's scared because there's animals out here that can eat him, like the fox. Today is uh, Halloween, when all the spooky ookies come out. Um, and in the day, as I was telling my kids a few weeks ago, how our calendar is uh, literally, Jesus is so important in, in the world that, well, one, he has 2.5 billion followers, so I think that's more than anyone else. Taylor Swift topped that. Um, and uh, two, I mean, even things like our calendar. There's so many things in art, our, our holidays, Christmas we celebrate, uh, Easter we celebrate. I heard that Halloween is the second most celebrated holiday in this country. And that's straight out of Hallow's Eve, straight out of All Saints Day. Uh, this is the vigil. Tomorrow's All Saints Day. And this is the, we can go to Mass. We, it, I believe that is a Holy Day of Obligation. Yeah. Or else All Souls. One or the other. Anyway, we can go to Mass today. We can go to Mass tomorrow. So probably it's All Saints. <sighs> Who are the saints today? So many saints. Um, one was a Spanish, ah, no point in even trying. So many saints that I read about today. Each day, uh, saints that, that, uh, perform miracles through prayer. A woman lived a very simple life. She, well, it was today or yesterday. She literally, you wear a belt. There's a belt that I guess it's like made out of wool that scratches you to kind of so that you suffer that little bit compared to what Jesus suffered and to remind you of that, I suppose. And the belt literally embedded in her and they couldn't untie it in her skin around her waist. And I think she prayed or something or another and the belt fell off. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, so many, I can't remember them. But anyway, today is all, yeah, this was, well, that was a missed opportunity, wasn't it? I could have told you about some saints that I'd never heard of. I've taken to, it's, there's so many of them and so many names that I don't re really, like names that for American tongue, it's not John or James or Sarah or, or Betty. It's all these, uh, names and I usually just gloss over them because it's not like I'm going to memorize them, but I've taken to deciding to pronounce them correctly, at least honor them each day by reciting their name before I read uh, about them, each one that my app provides, which is usually about 20 or so, I guess. Anyway, today is Halloween. All Hallows... Eve, where we think about the saints. And then, like I say, tomorrow is, is All Souls Day, where we remember all those who have died. And we have to pray for them, because we don't know, uh, either way, we don't know that someone's in heaven. As soon as someone dies, we, if it's a loved one, we automatically go, oh, it's good that they're, they're in heaven now, and but we don't know if you look, yeah. So what you're supposed to do is pray for these people. Pray for the dead. If they're in heaven, it doesn't matter. Your prayers will go to something else. Your prayers are never wasted. If they're in hell, again, it doesn't matter because your prayers aren't going to get them out of hell. But if they're in purgatory, which is, which is the whole... Which is the big, is the big question. They're headed to heaven, but they're not there yet. And they're suffering. They're being purified. And our prayers help to get this, I understand correctly, our prayers help to get them out of purgatory that much quicker. And nobody wants to see God and then be sent to heaven or hell or purgatory and not see him again. Well, you'd see him again if you went straight to heaven. But if you're in purgatory, you really want to get to heaven. Is it strong enough to hold me up? So pray for the dead, particularly on November 1st, 
no, November 2nd, I don't know, look it up, you've got an app, um, remember to pray for all the people, whether you think they were saints or sinners, we don't know what's in their heart, only the Baptists know who goes to heaven and hell, right, if you're baptized, you go to heaven, whatever, okay, I shouldn't, shouldn't go there, anyway, yeah, pray for everyone who's died, and remember, if your parents have passed on, and you might say, I don't have to honor my father and mother. Well, yes, you do. Because praying for them is how you honor them once they're gone. Once they're dead, that's how you honor them. Toby, get over here. <sighs> okay, so think about that. Think about the saints. If it helps, good. If it doesn't, well, don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll be fine when you die. None of this religion stuff is probably going to make any difference in what happens in your afterlife, right? You'll be fine. Don't worry about it.